Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today's reading is taken from Mark chapter 8, verse 34 to chapter 9, verse 1. Let's get into the word. This passage is one of the most clearest instructions on how we should be Christian. Jesus gives us one clear instruction. To deny one's own life, take up their cross, and follow him. What exactly does that mean for us now? Certainly this is far from a clear, do ABC and you'll be granted the kingdom of heaven. And while it doesn't give us a clear answer, it does give us a clear formula to living life the Christian way. We must lose ourselves and deny ourselves, as Moses did when he was reluctant to lead Israelites out of Egypt, and like Mother Mary did when she miraculously conceived a divine child while being a virgin in those times and in that culture. Though our challenges in the modern day seems less illustrious, we too are offered daily sacrifices we can make. Standing up for a co-worker in a toxic space, care for a barely familiar relative who's struggling financially or physically or even just mediating between two arguing friends which could potentially cause large distress in our life jesus tells us most importantly when these things happen we should pursue life in a selfless manner effectively letting god be the ruler of our lives and using us as an instrument to minister to his people will basically lose ourselves and gain the kingdom of heaven. These are the footsteps of all the saints that come before us. It is also similarly clear that Jesus came to save our souls for the kingdom of heaven to come and not save us from the sufferings on earth. As it is clearly mentioned that by forsaking his teaching, we are free to gain the riches of the earth. And by being ashamed of the teachings of our Lord, we may freely live our mortal lives on earth. But the Son of Man will be ashamed of us when He comes in His Father's glory. Brothers and sisters, let's continuously strive to heed to the sacrifices that God throws our way. May God grant us the wisdom to make hard decisions and take up our crosses. Amen.